Hey guys, welcome back. What can I say? That's the box set that came that I just got. Um, the box is in pretty good shape. This is Mark's Toys Blue and Gray Civil War, American Civil War play set. Contents of flag poles with flags, cannon, horses, riders, Union soldiers, Confederate soldiers, Civil War accessories, and plastic play sheet. This came out in 1970 uh, something, I want to say 77 maybe. Um, well, let's check it out, right? Because I got the book. I have the book somewhere. It's over here. And what I'm doing right now is um, it's like anything when you get these sets, they're mismatched with all kinds of stuff. Like uh, these two guys were in this set. And there were two other guys in this set which don't belong. Where are they now? They're CTS. Yeah, here they are, right in front of me. These guys right here are CTS. Civil War soldiers. I mean, they're, they're pretty good replicas of the marks. So you wouldn't even know the difference, except if you look underneath and you see the uh, CTS made in China. CTS, TSC, China. So that's telling. And this is the marks. Did they have the brand name on this? Uh, so what I'm looking at right now is each. They came in what they call mold shots, and let me see if I can show you what it looks like in the book. A mold shot was a group of soldiers that they would. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Right here. So this is what we're looking at. Right? So that's a full mold shot of Series 1 Union soldiers right there. That's a full mold shot of Series 1 Confederates right there. Now, I do have a full mold shot of Series 1, series one Confederates right here. I do not have a full mold shot of the Union's soldiers. I do have two extra let's do this, sorry guys. I do have two extra of these guys, two standard bearers, and then in the prone position. And that leaves me short several guys. All which will be so these guys are gone. So what happens here is I need to figure out who's missing in this. And what is missing is I have the cannon crew right there with the cannon. The bugler is right there with the mounted officer. I need that that officer right there. He's not in this group. I also I get the four marching and I have these two guys right here. I have this gentleman right there. And I need two of those, and I only have one. So I need two of them. I only have one of him. And I need this guy right here shooting. So I'm missing him. I'm missing one of them. And I'm missing him. So I am missing three for a full, for a full mold shot. Okay, so I have got two extra guys here, but what I need for them, and it's not like I don't have them, because I have, you'll see, I've got four commanders here. The only problem is these are older, these are older gentlemen, so you're going to see the color difference, opposed to this right here. I don't know if you can see that color difference. One's a pale blue, and one's a bright baby blue. So. That's the, that's the issue. So I don't have one of this color. So, now, 
do I replace this entire set with a full shot of the older ones because they have a waxy finish that has a waxy finish and what I could do if I wanted to I could swap out the older because I have a, a bunch right there there's a union in the confederates but do I want to do that do I want to swap out I don't know we'll see I mean if I put I can I can just throw these three in not these three but at least one of these guys that's really close to it and then we come over here and we need see we need one of these guys here right it looks like he's probably the closest to it but he's still going to be way off right and then what else we need let's see all right so two of those guys and we got him now and then i need one of those guys right shooting which is right here and the closest guy oh my god is probably and it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough this one is see the, the pale it's a pale blue opposed to that bright blue there's another one there's another one there's another one so each year had different color molds plastic molds because of the mix and the coloration of the plastic so it's going to be different uh, so you'd have a complete run where they all look alike and then when they they add more plastic or whatever they're going to do the little tint changes a little bit and then you can see when you mix match the um, soldiers it stands right out so I don't know what to do guys but this is what I'm doing it's just a quick uh, this came today and wow look at that huh? ain't that cool it's pretty neat so that's what I'm doing I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with this set of course this comes out of my my big box set down there that I just threw together from all different pieces and stuff so I've just been buying them piecemeal 20 soldiers here 30 soldiers there I get them for $25, $30, whatever. So it's like a buck a piece for each soldier. Um, and I've, I've, I've amassed quite a few. It's not too bad. I mean, it's a pretty good Union Army, pretty good Confederate Army, and I don't even have the box set. Now I have the little handy-dandy little 50-piece set there, which is driving me bonkers because I'm missing three guys. These two guys, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Maybe I could just... Just say screw it right and just leave it be as it is and throw it together like that and we just be missing. Right? Just do that and say screw it. And just leave it at that. Now the second series for the Confederates you end up getting the uh, cannon crew. The second series. Um, let me put you down for a second. The second series has wounded, and here we go. This is the second series. The second series right here for the Confederates are pretty cool. I love this guy is really neat. That one right there. Um, let's see if I break them out for you. So the second series, I move these guys over here. Well, the wife is home, so I guess we'll call it quits. Guys, have a good one, and we'll do the second series at a later date. So you take care of yourselves and be good to each other. Ciao.